down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. I forgot about this. <laughs> Let's see, what is it usually? No, 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 go back. That's so boring. I'm gonna go with a nice violet. Make it a little brighter. Ooh, or we could make it indigo. I'm gonna go with indigo. Indigo's awesome. Oh man, I didn't know I forgot that we could turn on the speech. The uh voice sounds. Oh man. Now I'm gonna leave that at normal. I think. Uh well let's check. If you're falling rocks, do not strike the wall. Rocks may fall! Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun with me, OXFU, and... Well, watch for falling rocks to not strike the wall. Rocks may fall. Well... Hmm... We can't go any further, so... You know what? Screw it. Let's... let's strike the wall! What? Nothing's happening. Hmm... Maybe if we knock over the log after a while, we know we, we did that before in Miss in Master uh, Fez school. Let's see what happens. Oh, we're a little too far away. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Da 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 Oh, I love the music that plays during that too. Um we only caught the tail end of it, because most of it's most of it's uh behind the sound of a falling rock crashing down a stone corridor, but I think we will hear it at some other point. By the way, before we descend down this pit, since, well, we can, apparently, um, I just want to point out, this is some fantastic music, and I didn't realize it, but it reminds me a lot of um, Donkey Kong, actually. Uh, Donkey Kong Country, to be more specific, especially, like, the later levels, like the snow levels, the factory levels, stuff like that. I don't know, it's just a cool thought. Anyway, let's see what's down here. Wait a minute! This looks as though it was carved by man. I suspect shenanigans are afoot. Uh, before we go, I'm just gonna do this. I mean, come on, it, you knew this was coming. You knew we'd be doing something. Oh, shit. Oh god, run away, Isaac. Hydro statue appeared. So, as far as I remember, this might... I believe this is an optional boss. Don't quote me on that. Because every time I've always gone through and fought it, because I always take the right path before the left path. You might have to beat this guy in order to lower the water level enough to go west, young friend, but... I don't remember, honestly. I do not remember. All I remember is he's... I think he's not that hard, actually, if I, if I, again, if I'm remembering correctly. He might be. He might be harder than I remember. After all, there is an optional boss near the end who is harder than the final boss. <laughs> but we'll get to him eventually. I love this guy. Uh, Boreal? Boreal? Boreas. It's right below, dummy. I love that he's just like a shaved ice machine, though. That's the, that's the best. I know I said that the Sleepy Sheep was the best, but Shaved Ice is an ultimate summon. That's the best. That is her ultimate water, the ultimate water summon, by the way, so. And I was wrong. We do not have the multi, the multi-type summons in this game. So, yeah, I was wrong. Get some Storm Ray going on him, yo. And do you have anything, any items that we could use? No. Shoot. Hmm. Oh wait, you do have the Ankh. The Ankh staff. Maybe we'll get a, a Psy Drain on him, or, or Psy Seal. 
That would actually do some good. Oh, yeah, look at how much damage he's doing. No, we can't. We're not lucky enough to get a Psy Seal. Oh, well. Oh, well, he's gone anyway, so. <laughs> nice. That's very nice. We did it, Isaac. We beat the last Water Beast. So I guess it. I guess he's not optional. I was wrong. I wonder why Alton's guardian statues turned into monsters. Isn't it strange? Um, no. Didn't you see all the other strange crap happening? <laughs> I, love that. I love his response, though. Oh, I'm sure you get that sort of thing all the time, Isaac. <laughs> Still, it's strange that the bottom of the mine was made of carved stone. Like, honestly, I think, you know, kind of activated because of the eruption, but... The Guardian statues were created long, long ago. And how do you know this? <laughs> what are they for? Well, they were to guard something, silly. <laughs> There's a treasure chest behind the Guardian statue! Yes, Ivan, we all know that. Thank you, Captain Obvious. It must be related to these ruins buried deep in the mine. I guess so. Hey, Isaac, we should check that chest before we go. No, we're just gonna leave it, Garrett. We're just gonna leave it. <laughs> God. <laughs> Um, honestly, I think this, sometimes I, I, I just think that this game is kind of like how Final Fantasy Mystic Quest is. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is as simple as Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, nor does it have as simplistic a story. Do not think I'm doing that. I'm merely, because I, saying what I'm saying could get a lot of hate, and I'm trying not to attract that. What I am saying... What I am saying is that I think it's a lot like Final Fantasy Mis uh, Mystic Quest in that it's a simpler RPG than, like, the Final Fantasy games, then, well, I can't say the Tales games because I've never played one, but I'm assuming they're more complex than this. And, well, it seems more like an introductory RPG. At least for the first game. Anything else. But that's fine with me, because honestly, this was one of the first RPGs I played, because I had it on Game Boy. And it's a very good one. I mean, <laughs> it's got enough story that it's got plenty of story. Enough to... How many games are they on now? Aren't they in development of the fourth one? Or they don't they... I know they have Dark Dawn, which is the third one. I don't remember if they're actually making a fourth one or not. Actually, wait, how many, how many coins do we have? We have 5,300. That is enough to get new equipment. Screw you guys. Actually, wait a minute. We have a lift gem. Does that mean... Oh my god. I actually would be terrified to go past this, even if I was the one using the Synergy. Just because I hate going under things that I think might be able to fall. <laughs> yeah, so we do need to we do need to fight that guy in order to get the lift gem and go up north. What I was thinking was that we had to go west. Weast? <laughs> what kind of direction is weast, Patrick? That's west. Patrick. <laughs> um you know what? Ooh, I forgot we had Wish. I keep forgetting we have Wish. I'm probably gonna forget later on in the game that we already have Wish. And be like, man, when are we gonna get Wish? That would be so nice right now. Can we get both of them? Ah, oh, no. Darn. And Garrett's just gonna defend because I was kind of dumb about how to allocate their attacks. Let's see, what is... Oh, a dead end. <laughs> So, yeah. Was not optional at all. I'm just dumb. And have a very faulty memory. Alright, so we want to go down here. To the sword shop. Come in! Welcome! Take a look at our fine weapons! Uh, nothing good, huh? Alright, so claymores. Alright, so we're going to be given both... Ooh, wait a minute. 
Hmm, let's give Garrett a Claymore for now, because he's got... He doesn't even have, uh... Er, uh, he doesn't even have the... Magic sword thing. <laughs> the magic sword thing, wow, can I be any more descriptive? Oh, we could have given a bro him a broad axe. Oh no, he had a broad axe. Not too much of an increase. Not enough of an increase to spend that much money. Oh, well, we'll be coming up on a little town called Tolby soon, so... We'll be able to get more stuff there. Quite a few good things, actually. Chainmail, huh? Not gonna get it for you, Garrett, because you need the Synergy. And honestly, it doesn't boost your defense that much. Yeah, I don't think we're actually gonna get much for armlet, arm, armlet, armlet, armor here. Um, well, we're definitely gonna get it for you, Ivan. Yeah, we'll do that. Because you need, you need some, you need some defense. And we cannot put a, an Iron Helm on Mia, so we'll just give her a Silver Circlet. Oh my god, six coins. Wow, we just blew through like 5,000 coins. <laughs> In like two minutes. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, darn. Oh yes, okay, we do have enough money for the end. We should probably visit there before heading out. Just to restock on some synergy. Like, we're not that low, but... We're, we might as well do it before we head through to the next area, because we're not going to be seeing a town for a while. So, yeah, let's... Yeah, I'll take a room. I'll have a nice, ni uh, nice night. Cuddle up against some pillows. Here, heard your bed and breakfast. I'll have some, some coffee and some... English muffins for breakfast. You know, it'll be a pretty nice stay. I mean, we're not spending too much, but... There are a few beasts in the mine still, but they're down deep below, right? Ha, <laughs> no, I don't think so. If they're in the up upper passages, then we can't mine like we used to. Well, too bad. I love the little touches like these. They, they just have bunk beds that you can get up on top of for no reason. I don't know. It's, no <laughs> it's nothing important, it's just... Again, just the little touches. That's what matters in these games. Like, those are the things I remember the most. The little things. And, well, the general overarching plot, but... Eh, who cares about that? <laughs> Alright, all the way down. All, all the way down, Isaac. Jeez. Think I'd have to hold your hand through everything. Can't just climb down a ladder on your own? Wait a minute, what does this old guy have to say? Is it true you found ancient ruins in the deepest part of the mine? Why, yes I did. Really? I always thought that mine held some sort of kind of secret. Sure you did. Sure you did. You just keep telling yourself that, old Giza. <laughs> and we can move on. Finally. Again. For the last time. Um, I'm gonna check over what's over here. <gasps> what are you? It's a secret passage! And it's a chest. What is in the chest? Ah, eh, just a vial. Uh, okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure that we weren't overstocking Isaac. You know, inventory management the game. And we'll do that, why not? I've got nothing to say about this fight. <laughs> so I'll just hum, no, not even hum to myself. I don't know, it's just catchy. It's just not a very memorable tune. So, whatever can't fault them for having bad music, because it's not bad music, it's just not memorable. It's not something I'm going to be like, man, I wish I could listen to this on my iTune Potter thing. And be like, I wish I could put my, it like, blast the bass and stuff and be like, oh my god, that's amazing.